Hello everybody, today we're gonna make some chicken feet. Ugh. For those that refuse to eat chicken feet, you can just skip this video. If you've never had chicken feet before, it's actually pretty good. It's mainly skin and cartilage, so you've gotta like tendons and, and the like to like chicken feet. I know what you're thinking, ugh, chicken feet, who eats that? The kind I'm making today is not the brown dim sum style ones, but it's the white-ish uh, bouncy kind. You might wonder, why would I want to eat this? I'm not even on fear factor. To some people, it's just really strange to eat chicken feet. I mean, the foot is on the ground all the time and it's touching the ground, so you don't want to put something like that in your mouth, right? Feet, feet are naturally dirty. The thing with chicken feet is there's an extra layer on top and when they clean it, they do uh, remove all of it. But when I clean it, you want to remove the rest of it if any of it got stuck on. There's an extra layer of skin there. To most people, eating chicken feet is probably a weird part of the chicken to eat. Like, nobody eats a head or the foot. But in hot dogs, I mean, they have all kinds of cow parts in there. And I mean, if they have chicken dogs too, all kinds of weird chicken parts are in there too. It's just how it's presented. It's just getting closer to what you really do eat. Okay, now let's start cleaning the chicken feet. So you can see here, I got the chicken feet at Ranch 99 over here in the Bay Area. Let's open this package and dig into this deliciousness. Mmm, look at that, delicious. Let's just take one of them. Well, this is a chicken foot. It kind of looks like, looks like my hand, like this. Not much you need to do to clean it. Some people would want to clean off the fingernails, I mean chicken nails. Cut them off like this so it's a bit more pleasant looking. For me, I don't really care, so I'm just gonna cook them without without doing the pedicure. Yeah, why not? I'll just give, I'll just cut all the, all the nails off, I guess. Here you see a uh, unclean part, so what you wanna do is just kinda rip rip off the last bit here. I know a lot of people would refuse to eat chicken feet. Clean that off. They also call these chicken paws. So depending if you actually eat chicken feet or not, this may or may not gross you out, but look at all this chicken toenail clippings I got. Mmm, delicious. Well, you don't have to eat this, so that's good. Okay, boil some water. Add some salt. And put in your chicken feet. You don't want to just cook the chicken feet. You need to boil them until they're tender. So this may take about 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, so it's been in there for about half an hour. So take them all out and rinse them with cold water to stop them from cooking. Okay, just rinse them with cold water. Okay, so put one cup of vinegar and then add about half a teaspoon of sugar. Mix that. Transfer your chicken feet into a big container and then pour the vinegar over and then fill it up with water until it covers all the chicken feet. Now stick this in the fridge for about an hour and you can start eating it. After marinating in the fridge for one hour, take them out and strain out all the water. and put it back. After draining the marinade for a while and letting it dry, it's ready to eat. Mm, look at this, chicken foot. It tastes a little tangy from the vinegar and the best way I can describe it, it, it kind of tastes like the, the skin part of a chicken wing. If you like the cartilage part of a chicken wing, then you'll like the chicken foot. Let me show you what this looks like close up. Look at this delicious chicken feet. Mmm, delicious. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe I convinced you to eat some chicken feet. If you have any questions about this recipe, please leave a comment below. And if you like this video, please click like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.